My name is Abba Asibon. Hello, my name is Albori Karatupetzane. My name is Nicholas Kiriaku. Brian Heap. Caleb Ozobehe Ajinoma. Andrew Yonakana. My name is Catherine Chichi. Denise Devarajan. Fiona Sussman. Inga Sanchez Ramilu. Jason Jobin. Shamani. Tutika Pandey. Baham Javed. Marcia Walker. My name is Brandon McIver. Mohammed Lamin Kajara. I'm Sharma Taylor. Nafisa Iqbal. Rhea Martin. I'm from Great Britain. I am a Ghanaian currently living and working in Malawi. I come from Limpopo province in South Africa. Australia. And I live in Jamaica. I am from Nigeria and I live in Lagos. I'm a New Zealander. I'm from Canada. Chadkant, India. Pakistan. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago, but I live now in Ikime, Japan. Cyprus. I'm a Jamaican national living in Barbados. Malaysian. I'm from Dhaka, Bangladesh, but right now I'm very far from home. In fact, 8,000 miles away from home in New York, where I've lived for the past five years. How has my life changed? How has my family life changed? And since COVID-19? The country has been in lockdown for the last three weeks. Today is day 17 of lockdown in New Zealand. For the past one month, Malaysia has been undergoing a lockdown. We're under curfew here from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. It feels like we've stepped into a very different reality of ambulance sirens and empty silent streets and spending weeks inside the four walls of our homes. It's quite isolated from my family. I'm very far away and I'm alone, so it gets a bit lonely. I come from a very community-oriented culture so this is like nothing I've ever done before. My wife, daughter and I have not stepped out of the house at all. I'm currently self-isolating. Self-isolating. Self-isolation. Our house is really clean, cleaner than it's ever been I think. A family member of mine was diagnosed with a serious illness and admitted into the hospital. My mother has dementia and we're not able to visit her which is difficult. So at a time when we would have liked to have been there for him and when physical contact is very important we haven't been able to give him that. Turning 50 yesterday under lockdown was not how I imagined my half-century birthday. I am a freelance journalist and many magazines I usually submit to have just shut down. We had to take unpaid leave or had our contracts terminated entirely. Outside it feels menacing, especially at the grocery store. But I try to stay sane by reading, meditating, listening to my favorite Bollywood songs and if I'm feeling adventurous, uh, trying to bake a cake. Personally, the coronavirus has brought my family a lot closer. To connect with my friends, I'll talk with them on video chats or connect with them on social media. I cannot imagine how things would have been without the possibilities technology offers us. This has taken a toil on us, on everybody at home. What we talk about, how we eat, what we eat. And personally for me, what I read and how I read them, what I write and how I write. As far as writing goes, for me, it is a very personal and very isolating process. But ironically, under quarantine, I had joined writing workshops to learn from my colleagues and to stay connected with others. After all, our stories connect us. Our stories. Our stories. Our stories, our stories. connect us.